If you are wondering how to set up the priming system on your Apex 10, John's gonna show you. Gavin Gear here from ultimatereloader.com. I'm here with John Vlieger. Thank you, John, for joining Thanks. us. Thanks for having me. John sets up these machines for a living. He helps customers troubleshoot problems. Let's focus this time on the priming system. We've already got the major components installed. Mm -hmm. This caliber is pretty much set and ready to run. Let's talk about what die we want in that station, the adjustments for primer seating depth, and maybe some common things to look for to get this thing running perfect in terms of yeah. priming. So as you mentioned, we have a recommendation for a die over mm -hmm. the priming station, and there's a specific reason why. We, uh, we like using a sizing die because we mm -hmm. want to center and support that case. So making that case be in the same spot every time is going to give us way more consistent priming. Is that with rifle as well, like if you had a bottleneck yeah. rifle cartridge? Now, Good. a caveat to that is when you're loading rifle, you don't have to size completely. You don't have right. to size the whole length. Your goal is just to get support. Yeah. So you run that die down until you feel resistance on the si mm -hmm. uh, uh, side walls of the case. Sure. That tells you it's going to prevent tilt and it's going to keep it centered. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Cool. So when we're setting our primer seating depth and our station, we're worried about the die and we're we are worried about our primer seating depth pin right here. This is a 3 16 mm -hmm. Allen. Now you want to be careful when you're making any adjustments to this pin because a little does go a long way. Yeah. But first, let's set our sizing die. So if I'm running automated, I'll move to bottom. You can do a single cycle here. Let's move to bottom. And we're going to run our sizing die down until it touches the shell plate. You see how it's uh, touching the spring there, making the spring move? Now, this, we've already calibrated the machine. Yep. So that establishes where it's going to stop, where mm -hmm. that tool hood is going to come down to and rest. Exactly. If you're hand yeah. operated, you're just running the handle okay. down until you feel it make that uh, contact yep. with that stop internally. Gotcha. So we make contact with the shell plate. We're going to back it off one quarter turn, give us enough clearance. Ends up being about five thou. And we can lock that die in place. And after that, it's a matter of setting our primer seating depth with a brand new case. Now, before we move on, just real quick, you can use a hold down here if mm -hmm. you so choose. Or you Which can I've use, done. Yeah, or you yep. can use no die at all. Yep. You know, your, your, your experience may vary with that. Uh, but for the reasons you mentioned about using a bottleneck rifle case, you're using brand new, or maybe you're just priming on the machine, mm -hmm. you can use a hold down to accomplish the same goal. Gotcha. So next up, we have a primer in the station. We have a brand new case. We can move to bottom. And I'm just going to hit end cycle here and test where we're at. I can always seat the primer deeper, can't really go the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. So we are right at flush, maybe just a hair yep. over. And I'm going to show you a neat trick Kay. with our auto drive for checking if you're proud. Kay. Just put it on the base plate <laughs> yep. and rock it back and forth. It's not a gauge block, but it's a nice sure. flat surface. If you notice it rocking in the center, you're above yeah. flush. Yep. So I don't really like it being that close to the... Uh, uh, bottom of the case, so I'm going to run this down just a hair. Once again, a little goes a long way, so I'm going to go about a half turn. And this this guy is just pushing on the rocker, correct? Yeah. And actuating essentially the priming. Mm -hmm. Pin, attached tool head, tool mm -hmm. head comes down, pin goes through shell plate, hits your rocker right here, the rocker rocks, pushes your primer punch up, mm -hmm. seats your primer. So, and the reason you don't want to go too far is you don't want to shove a primer all the way in and destroy the primer, potentially you know, uh, damage your primer or your case. Yeah. And uh, if you have that sucker way too low, you can uh, cause the rocker to bottom out on the extrusion. There's no reason why you would have to do that or right. want to do that. But if you're a little overzealous, mm -hmm. bad things can happen. Yeah. So we're going to put this uh, prime case back in the station. We ran this down just a little bit. Let's run a single cycle and check our work. So now we're just incrementally dialing in. Incrementally. Here. I'm just going to go just a hair more just to have a little bit more mm -hmm. confidence in it that it's going to be, regardless of the case we're using, it's going to seat yep. it correctly. And after this, we should be good. You can definitely help to avoid light strikes if you get that yep. primer all the way into the pocket. I shoot competition a ton, you know, mm -hmm. tens of thousands of rounds a year, seating them below flush to about 5 thou. Sammy spec is flush to about 8 thou. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't want to go much past that, but uh, feel that, Gavin. Tell me if that... Should help prevent some light strikes. Oh yeah, that feels good. perfect. And we can also like examine it. the condition of the primer. If we're noticing it's uh, marked up, like the primer's been damaged, or mm -hmm. if it looks flattened by the primer uh, punch, mm -hmm. we we'll probably want to back that off a little bit because we are damaging the primer at that yep. point. But that, I would call that great priming. We're going to leave this set exactly the way it is, move on with some other stuff, and continue to load some ammo. That sounds good. Thanks, for John, for showing that to us. That concludes this video, and that means it's time to 
wrap it up. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, make your voice heard. If you have something to say, please drop a comment. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications because you're not going to want to miss the awesome content that is coming up. And finally, flex your reloading pride. You could look great in one of these t-shirts. We've got multiple designs at the Ultimate Reloader store. I'll see you later because I'm off to go shooting.